Australian mango industry is undergoing a transformation. A transformation to high density orchard systems, which are more productive and profitable. Maintaining mango trees as short, slim, continuous hedges at a closer row spacing has proven to greatly increase yields per hectare, reduce input costs per kilogram of fruit, and improve grower profitability. These systems are called slim hedges. The aim of slim hedges is to increase canopy surface area per hectare. This enables more sites for flowering and fruit production, creating walls of fruit, and lots of them. Grower and research trials have recorded mango yields of over 30 tonnes per hectare for R2E2 and 1243 varieties, over 50 tonnes per hectare for Calypso, and over 70 tonnes per hectare for Keat. In addition to increased yields, the shorter, slim hedge designs have numerous advantages over wide-spaced mango systems. These include improved harvesting efficiency. Fruit harvested from short, narrow trees are more easily and rapidly picked from the ground, either by hand or by using short picking sticks. In comparison, harvesting fruit from tall, wide trees is a slow, time-consuming and expensive process. This commonly includes the use of long picking sticks. Alternatively, involves the use of elevated equipment, such as cherry pickers, which require specialised worker training. Greater spraying efficiency. Slim hedges require lower pesticide application volumes per hectare due to their narrower size and smaller internal volumes. Conventional wide space trees have large internal voids, which require larger pesticide application volume. Wide space trees may often have large gaps between trees along the row, which contributes to pesticide wastage. The improved spray penetration and coverage achieved within slim hedges also increases the effectiveness of insect and disease control, particularly for cryptic insects such as mango scale and mango seed weevil. One of the best examples of the slim hedge design is at Mardo's Mangoes at Bowen. I'm Ben Martin and uh, we grow R2E2 mangoes down here in Bowen with my parents Gary and Bernadette and wife Ashley. So this orchard you see here, um, this was mum and dad's first original orchard. Um, so this was planted in 1990 as high density. So this spacing here is three metre in between the trees, six metres across the rows. So we are John Deere's, are, they fit down here okay. Um, it is pretty tight when you do have a big crop load on. Um, but yeah, six metres is the as tight as I'd, I'd go with our, our equipment and spray rig and, and tractors. The canopy is about two metres wide. Um, we edge them at 4.2 metres high every year. Um, and that just you know, maintains that, that nice canopy there and um, easy penetration for spray. Back in 1990, it was pretty much unheard of, planting in high density. Um, so we've learned a lot over the years. We've still got a lot to learn. Some of the benefits that you've got is um, we've got different spacing rows throughout different properties, but this here is by far the most efficient fruit to pick um, and best quality that you can get as well. Yeah, look, the yields we get off this property here is, is pretty remarkable. On average, you know, an average year, you'd probably be picking maybe 15 tonne to the acre, which is, is pretty good, or 12 tonne to the acre, um, be about an average. Um, so that's, that's pretty good through here. But there is a lot of inputs that need to go in to get that crop right and to make sure your trees are performing and your fruit quality is, you know, beautiful. Yeah, so all these trees are picked here with harvest aids. We don't use cherry pickers on these. They'll try not to. Um, so your harvest aids, you know, drive nicely down the row here and you just picked straight onto the side of the harvest aid, either by hand or with picking sticks. So, um, you know, when you can get everything to line up with these trees to produce a, a consistent heavy crop, it's just a wall of fruit down here and um, you'll see some bins just fly off this. This is where you get your really big, you know, picking days and, and efficiencies really shine. So we built our own um, spray rig using Cropland's fans. Um, so the chemical really does get into where it needs to go. Um, and being such a narrow canopy as well, you know, only two metres wide, um, some of our trees on our one of our other properties, you know, they're quite old trees. Um, you know, they can be five or six metres wide. Um, so, you know, this really is easy to penetrate your spray through and get good coverage. Pruning is one of the most important aspects of high density. Um, you need to maintain this canopy and keep pruning on that same line every year. If you go too hard, you'll take next year's crop off. 
if you come out too far you'll reduce your sunlight in your orchard and if you do get a heavy flowering and heavy crop load you literally won't fit your tractor and spray rig down the rows. Yeah, we do take the centres out uh, probably every four years. We'll go through and take the, the foliage out of the centres. Um, but we try and minimise that as much as we can with mechanical pruning and, and good orchard hygiene. So haven't had the gap between the trees for a number of years now. Um, if you can maintain that height and the sides, we found that it's pretty good. They look after themselves. There are four key factors when setting up a slim hedge orchard. Number one, mango variety. High density systems suit less vigorous varieties, such as Calypso, R2E2, Honey Gold, and Keat. Kensington Pride is more difficult to manage due to excessive vegetative growth rates. Plant growth regulators and targeted pruning will help control tree vigour in all varieties. 2. Target inter-row machinery access width. Farm machinery commonly requires a minimum of 2.5 metres accessible in a row space at harvest time for reliable and unhindered access. Allowances should be made to allow for annual lateral canopy growth from hedging to harvest time, which makes the inter-row progressively narrower over the season. 3. Target tree harvest height. If harvesting is to be conducted by hand picking from the ground or using short picking sticks, then a harvest height of less than 3.2 metres is preferred. Harvesting trees greater than this height requires picking practices which are generally slower and more expensive. These include longer picking poles, cherry pickers or elevated harvest aid platforms. Tall trees require wider interrows to minimise shading. 4. Target tree harvest widths. The width of the tree is a more complex decision and is influenced by the distance between trees within the row. Trees planted at close spacing, e.g. 2 or 3 metres, may only need to grow to 2 to 3 metres diameter to reach optimum fruiting dimensions. Trees planted at wider distances along the tree row need to be allowed to grow to a greater diameter to ensure that they fill out the hedge faces sufficiently. The Slim Hedge Orchard is one of the most efficient designs for utilisation of site and light resources. Many mango growers are progressively moving to higher density systems, which incorporate both shorter and narrower trees. The final decision on optimum orchard dimensions is a personal choice for the grower, taking into account the four key factors. Variety, machinery width, target tree height, and target tree width.